At only 21 years old, Jay confesses he wasn't encouraged to brush his teeth as a child. Over the years, I've eaten the wrong foods, I've drank in lots of fizzy drinks, and I haven't really taken care of them by, I haven't really brushed them or, or flossed or anything like that. The worse his teeth became, the more frightened he was to visit the dentist. But now dental phobic Jay must find the courage to open wide for Dr. James. It's going to be a really big smile, like super cheesy. Yep, there's, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, it's not that you're suffering from sort of gum disease as such. I mean, maybe a little bit in some areas, but it's just decay. Jay's teeth are caked in tartar, hardened food debris and bacteria that's built up over around 20 years of not brushing his teeth. I'd like to get everything cleaned up around some of the teeth that are maybe savable, just so we can really have a look and see what's going on, because there's just so much stuff over them that can't really see that well. He sends Jay to a hygienist who blasts away the tartar with an ultrasonic scaler. But how deep is the rot? Dr. James orders a CT scan to help him see the full extent of Jay's decay. So we've got Jay's x-rays back and as expected things are pretty bad. Jay needs to lose about 11 teeth, maybe a little bit more depending on what we find. On the flip side though, there is some good news. Where Jay's teeth are obviously very, very decayed around the tops, the roots and the bone around those roots is actually quite healthy. And as such, I think that Jay might be a suitable candidate for dental implants. Dental implants are the super high-tech alternative to wobbly dentures, but they're very expensive. So Dr. James will not give Jay this treatment unless he changes his unhealthy habits. It's sort of change your lifestyle time. Cut down on the fizzy drinks, or actually just stop. Um, cut down on the sweets, start brushing your teeth, start trying to floss, especially once we've got things cleaned. You know, all those are things you've got to commit to right now and say, I'm gonna change that. You know, is that something you are gonna do? Yeah, I'm willing to give up all, all fizzy drinks and I'm now more in, into a routine, so I'll be able to brush when I yeah. get up now. So with Jay's promise to reform in the bag, the next step is implants. As a bin man, he admits he spends more time keeping the streets clean than his teeth. And the rot is so bad, it's holding him back. I'd like to work in sports or physiotherapy, but because of my teeth, like, it doesn't really feel right to do it. I feel embarrassed to tell somebody how to look after themselves when I haven't really taken care of my teeth. Never encouraged as a child to brush his teeth, a nervous Jay is here to see implantologist Dr. Zaki Kanan. I'm in take a seat. Jay's greatly improved his dental hygiene, making him ideal for implants. But the rotten teeth must come out. As he sits in the chair, his phobia of the dentist sets in. OK, how are you feeling? Probably. Your, your heart races a bit. But he manages to hold it together, and after a generous dose of anaesthetic, he's ready for the pushing and pulling to begin. The difficulty is with Jay, you can see the teeth are really um, decayed uh, and they've, they've already started crumbling, so just try and get it out in one piece. Once the teeth are out, the cavities have to be cleaned before the first part of the implants can be screwed in. This is the longest one, that's 18 millimetres long. Each implant acts as a replacement root of a tooth. The titanium base is screwed into the jawbone so that false teeth can be later fixed on top with dental cement. If your gums are still healthy, like Jay's, implants are effective but expensive. A less intricate option would be to have partial dentures fitted. In two hours, Jay's had 11 teeth removed and the base of each implant screwed in. Dr. James gives him some temporary dentures to wear until his new teeth are ready. 21-year-old G came to Dr. James with putrid, painful pegs. Too many fizzy drinks and a lack of brushing meant his teeth had rotted into stubs. It's sort of change your lifestyle times. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Jay promised to transform his bad habits, so one mass extraction later, and he had the first stage of implant screwed in. After two months of healing, a new look Jay is ready for the final permanent teeth to be fitted. Shaving off the beard and going a little bit of a haircut. Um, the reason for that is I had the beard to hide my teeth, like, so that people wouldn't really spot it that much. 
So what we have here is we've got Jay's teeth. They've just arrived back from the laboratory. They've been custom matched to his own teeth, a perfect color match. And it's exciting to think really that just in a few minutes, we're gonna see what difference these teeth make to, to Jay's confidence. Hi Jay, how you doing? Uh, good. good to see you, have a seat. So Jay, today's the big day. We're actually gonna screw your new crown and bridge work onto the implants and give you back your new smile. Excited? Yeah, very. Good, me too, let's go. With part of the implants already set into his jaw, small metal posts are screwed in. Okay, Jay, I'm just gonna stick these ones onto the right-hand side. Jay's new artificial teeth are placed on top of these posts and fixed with dental cement, completing his implants. It's looking brilliant. Yeah, absolutely perfect, just what we wanted. A few final touches and it's hello to Jay's new dazzling smile. Okay Jay, so that's us done for the moment. Let's sit you up and we'll show you what we've got. Okay, just give me a big smile so I can have a look first of all. Looking good, looking good. Moment of truth. Here's the mirror, have a look and give yourself a big smile. What do you think, what's your first impressions? They look a lot better. Like, I feel a lot more confident with a better smile now. Yeah. Just five months ago, Jay had severely neglected teeth. 11 teeth removed and replacement dental implants have given him a new smile. I'm really, really pleased. And if you're happy, I'm delighted. Okay, take care. Bye. But will he look after his new high-tech teeth properly? A few weeks later, Jay reveals how he's getting on. Now I'm brushing twice a day, flossing every day, doing a lot more to keep these ones that I do have now. I'm a much more happier person. I'm definitely going to be going forward to fulfill my dreams, really.